In this video I would like to talk probably about the most important theory when it comes to organizational behavior studies. It is going to be the equity theory and closely connected to that is the concept of organizational justice. It's quite a straightforward concept but you have to keep in mind several things. So let's say we imagine a person so that this is some let's call him let's call him Mike. So this is going to be uh, Mike and now this person has some job so let's say this is a this is a job some task that uh, Mike is performing every day and we always have some inputs so there is going to be some there is going to be some input some input and then there is going to be some output from this job so we will have some output now let's imagine what the, what input can be. Of course it's going to be some effort that Mike puts into his job. So it's going to be, let's say, it's going to be hours per day that Mike puts into his job. Then Mike needs some education. So there will be, there will be education. Couple of years Mike had to uh, go to some college or university where he received a degree, some education, so that he is more capable to perform this job. And finally, let's say that the input can be experience. So final input can be experience. Now, what can be the output? There can be several outputs, but for the sake of simplicity, let's imagine just one, which would be salary which would be salary. Now let me copy paste this and we will have two people that way. So I will just copy and paste. And this other person is going to be, let's say is going to be Mark. So this other person is going to be Mark. And now you see both of these people have some job, they have some input into this job and some output. Now let's imagine some numbers. Well, let's say that Mike works every day for, let's say, let's say eight hours. Then he needed to, let's say, go to the college in order to get this job for four years. And now he has three years of experience. And let's say that his salary is, let's say, let's say $15 per hour. So $15 per hour. Now we have Mark. And now let's say that Mark is also working for eight hours. He also was going to the college for four years, but he has zero years of experience so that he has just now joined the work life and then he is a total novice. And now his salary is also going to be $15 per hour. And I think you can already grasp the difference. You see, there is a difference in the input that these two persons are putting to the job. Even though they work the same hours, they have the same education, they have a different number or, or different amount of experience. Mike has three years of experience, however, Mark has no experience at all. And now Mark and Mike, they are both getting the same, the same output from this job, the $15 salary. And so we are getting to some inequity. So Mike will feel that this is just unfair if they are working for maybe same organization. So he will feel that it is unfair because there is an inequity in equity. Because simply Mike is putting more into the job and receiving his output the same as his mark. So this is the equity or inequity theory. So that the employees are always trying to compare themselves with other people, maybe their colleagues, maybe people outside the organization, and they might feel the inequity when a situation like as this one we have just described happens. Then, when employees perceive some inequity, we have a six reactions according to the equity theory, to such situations. So let's take a look at them. Reaction number one, change their inputs. Less effort if underpaid, more effort if overpaid. So if Mike finds out that he is getting less output from the job, well, he will probably no longer work for eight hours. He will work for maybe seven hours. And this way, well, now it is equal. That's, that's, the, that's a natural reaction to, uh, according to the equity theory. Secondly, change their outcomes, higher quantity of units of lower quality. 
So you can imagine that, for instance, uh, both Mike and Mark are working and are getting paid according to how many units, let's say, they are making um, TVs. If you produce one TV per hour, you will get your $15. So Mike will all of a sudden start produce more of these to receive a higher salary, but of course this will be of a lower quality. Third, distort perceptions of self. I thought I work harder or less than our others. So, for instance, Mike might have thought that, well, I'm getting a really good salary uh, compared to my years of education, years of experience and hours I put into job. I really thought I'm doing well. But now I see when I have met Mark that I'm actually being underpaid or, or I'm working less than others. Then distort perceptions of others. His job is not as desirable as I thought. So, for instance, this can be Mark's situation. So that when Mark finds out that Mike is really inputting this many hours, this many years of education, this many years of experience, he might change the perception of Mike. Originally, Mark thought that Mike has a very good job, but now he feels like, well, Mike, you don't really have that good job. Fifth, choose a different referent. I'm not making as much as my brother, but I, but more than my father in my age. So maybe these two are brothers, Mike and Mark are brothers. And now Mike found out that he is actually making less than Mark. So he will choose a different reference. So there will come a third person. So there will be someone third. And now Mike will suddenly start to compare himself with this third person. And he will forget about Mark. Finally, leave the field, quit the job. Of course, that is the natural reaction. If we would feel that we are being underpaid, we would leave the job. So that was the basics of the equity theory. Now let's get to the organizational justice concept, which is very thinly connected with this. When we are in the company, there are three kinds of a justice that we are looking at. There is a distributive justice, then we have a procedural justice, and interactional justice. All of these three are then going to uh, connect and they are going to create something that we call, and let me just finish my drawing, something that we call the organizational justice. That is quite important in every organization. So let's see, distributive justice, perceived fairness of outcome or the amount of rewards. So that for instance, distributive justice in this our drone case is not very well done according to Mike. He feels like he should be getting more. So the distributive justice is not very, um, we can say very well developed in this organization. So that he feels that he should be getting more of the reward and that he is unfair with the outcome. Then we have procedural justice. This is a more complicated. You can see that these three are sort of building up and are, and are connected this way. Procedural justice, perceived fairness of process, of process used to determine outcome or the process of allocating rewards so that their salaries are based on something. Maybe their salaries are based purely on the number of hours that they put into work. And that is just unfair for Mike, who has a more experience than Mark, so that this process of determining how much you are going to earn is not, un is not fair for you. That's when you would feel that the procedural justice is not well developed in your organization. Finally, we have interactional justice. Perceived degree to which one is treated with respect and dignity. So that if these two guys have um, some boss or, or operational manager, this manager should really treat them with respect and dignity so that uh, they will feel that the interactional justice has been fulfilled. Now, when all these three are fulfilled and satisfied, they are going to connect to the organizational justice. And that is quite simple and straightforward concept. That is overall perception of what is fair, of what is fair in the workplace. So that after all these three are fulfilled, I can tell myself, I think this is a fair place to work. So we went through the equity theory and then connected it with the organizational justice.